Hi friends, I am so tickled to have you back in my kitchen today for another frugal family food video. I feel so honored to be a part of this collaboration that was started by Amanda over at The Fundamental Home and Tangie the Caver's Wife. Make sure you go check out their channels after this video. Amanda and Tangie have also started an amazing group over on Facebook that talk all about how to be frugal and how to save money on your food bill every week. There's amazing tips and recipes shared there and it's a wonderful supportive community. There will also be a link in the video for that so make sure you go check out their Facebook group. You can always tag me in there too if you have questions because I love to be part of that group. This month's theme for the Frugal Family Food Collaboration is breakfast. And I feel so excited to be part of this because breakfast is something that we have created all kinds of recipes for. If you don't know already, our family is gluten free and we're almost completely grain free. We do tolerate rice, so a lot of my recipes are based on a rice flour blend. Um, today what we're going to be making is a pumpkin squash since it's fall and everybody wants more pumpkin spice in their food right now. So I'm going to be using the canned pumpkin, but you could also use a butternut or a winter squash. This is one that we grew in our garden. You could also use a little pie pumpkin. All of those will work great, and I've even used carrots in this before. It's so easy to make and um, comes in super cheap. One of the things that I love about this dish is how easy it is just to rip it up and put it together, but then you can also make it ahead. So you can easily bake this the night before or even a few days before and just have it in the refrigerator. I haven't frozen it, but I do think that's something you could do if you really needed to. You'll just need to put it back in the oven to heat it up. Make sure on Friday to check out Jamarelle's large family table because she is next in the food collaboration for this week and she'll be making another breakfast goodie for you. Amanda from The Fundamental Home and I are both part of a really exciting thing going on this holiday season. It's called the Holiday Boot Camp. It's a video course that is going to teach you how to make handmade uh, gifts for this holiday season. It's also going to teach you just a lot of really wonderful skills that you can use to um, bring your budget and your costs down. So we're going to be learning things like handmade soap, how to make um, gluten-free quick breads, or Amanda's going to be teaching the conventional wheat quick breads. There's also um, wax paper wrap that you can put over your foods. Lots of ideas that are healthy, that are really nice handmade gifts, or they're just really nice things that you can make for yourself at home and will save you a lot of money by doing it yourself. Now we know that you guys are a very frugal and very money savvy crowd, so we wanted to make sure and tell you about the early bird pricing on the boot camp course. And what that is, is until Tuesday, which is tomorrow night, until Tuesday night, you're going to be able to buy these courses for only $29.97. And that is a significant savings. Come Tuesday night at midnight, the price is going to increase, and it'll increase again before the boot camp is over with. So if you want to get the most bang for your buck and get each course for just over a dollar, you're going to be able to do that up until Tuesday, so make sure that you jump on this. You don't have time to hesitate and think about it, but you're going to be getting top-notch um, quality instruction from all kinds of people that are experts in their field. Renee Harris from Made on Lotion is going to be teaching you how to make wonderful tinted lip balms. 
um, and it's just going to be a really wonderful thing. There's so much to choose from. So click on the link in the description and it'll take you directly over to that so you can sign up for it. Now you've got nine months to complete everything and you have a downloadable PDF that you can keep um, indefinitely. So you'll always be able to use these. So don't worry about trying to fit it all in before Christmas because if you're like me, I'm going to pick one or two classes that I want to tackle and that's all that I'm going to do this year. But then you've got the rest of the nine months that you can work on. You can give somebody a special Mother's Day gift or maybe make something special for you to keep at home. So these classes will be very valuable for you and at a dollar per class, I think you're going to love it. Now one of the questions that I get asked more than anything else as far as what foods we eat are what do you eat for breakfast? When you're gluten free, breakfast seems particularly daunting because we're used to lots of breads and cereals and very grain based cere or breakfasts here in the United States. So if that's something that feels daunting to you, I've created a cookbook that's full of wonderful muffin recipes. Um, that you can use for your family breakfast. You can make them ahead or they stir up really quickly in the morning. Um, and then I've also got a waffle cookbook that has a couple waffle recipes in it and it includes my flour blend recipe. Thank you so much for stopping by our kitchen. It's so wonderful to have you here. Make sure you go check out the Christmas boot camp and also my gluten-free ebooks for more great recipes. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe so that you can get more gluten-free ideas. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Kiss. Go bye.